All right, we're gonna take a first look at the brand new game mode that just dropped in beta. Wait until you guys see this. I had no idea this was coming. Understand something, I'm not the biggest TDM fan or Arena or Evo Ground. I'm usually just, you know, playing classics, right? Let me tell you guys something. This completely changed my opinion on Arena. The brand new game mode is called Ultimate Arena. It's basically first to four wins, so you can go all the way to game seven, if you will. And the reason why it's so intense is because it's all, it almost feels like a playoff match. First to four wins, every single match, as you guys are gonna see, uh, every single match has a different type of layout. So we're gonna go ahead and start off at the very beginning. So what you basically do is you get the, let me go ahead and, I have a new player. Hopefully this is, this looks and sounds good, a brand new media player. So basically you start off the very first match with 750 coins. You know, whether you wanna start off with that, maybe you want a, a P18C, I, I went ahead and chose the Scorpion. That's pretty much all you can get. And depending if you win the match or not, you'll get more coins. The more coins you get, the better your loadout can get in the upcoming matches. So not only can you do different loadouts, but whether you want a level three helmet, um, you can pick up riot shields, just just wait. Let's go ahead and hit play. I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not just saying it, I'm very, very excited for this game mode. You know, as I was saying, I've never been the biggest like TDM, you know, TDM fan. It's always been very redundant. But this one, even and look, we have, even in beta, there's trolls lighting us on fire. You're gonna see, it doesn't matter, right? So we're here in ruins. This is the first. This is the first layout, and we got we got a scorpion. That's all we got is a scorpion. Let's see what we can do with it. We catch this dude out in the open. Boom! We go ahead and take the very first victory. As you can see, it all happened at once. Um, but basically, you have to kill all the enemy. You have to kill everybody on the enemy team before the match ends. Okay. So some of them go really quick, some will go much longer. So you can see right here, the coin breakdown. So I think just by default, you're gonna get 900. If you get the dub, you get an additional 450 coins. And then uh, depending on how many kills you get, you get 100 coins per kill. So as you can see, we got 1,450 coins, which is gonna get us a much better loadout on the next match. So as you can see right here, you can see a few things open up. Now we have the UMP, hello. Uh, the bison we have the dbs that opened up so now you can kind of mix and match you already know what i'm gonna pick fam so we're gonna go with the ump we'll go ahead and purchase that and by default you have um level two gear now depending say on the bridge where you might have uh some uh sniper fights maybe you're gonna pick up a car 98 or you have a feeling that the enemy team will be using snipers you can go ahead and select a level three helmet vest you know whatever all right, so this layout is, of course, you already know, this is in Pachinki. So again, you're gonna have that CQC type fights and every single match is different, okay? Now you're gonna, now watch this. You're gonna see a little, what is this? I think a three piece, right? Ooh, he came up, boom, there we go. Got him, took him down. And you'll see a lot of people running shotguns. We know that ranked TDM has arrived in game and global. Um, but let me tell you something, a lot of people are going to be picking up the shotgun, especially not only has the DBS pretty much always been good, but it received a huge buff in the 2.0 update. So here's the next one. Boom. Went ahead and took him down. That's two knocked. We need one more kill to clutch. I don't even have time. I'm usually the dude that reses first. I don't even have time. I want to put pressure on this dude. We catch him in the corner, little pre-fire action. Boom. There we go. That's three kills on the books. That's a ton of coins for the very next one. Look, 1,800 for batch 14. I don't even know what that is. Uh, win, we got 450, and then we got three kills. Bring our coin total to just over 2,500. Mean, meaning we can pretty much get almost anything except the MG3. So you'll see I have the UMP right here. And this is the first time that um, you know I, I had played this. So I, I do I drop the UMP? I think I was supposed to click up here because your loadout can carry over to the next matches if you win so let me see what i don't even know what the hell i do here i think i get the m4 did i do this right let me see when i purchase so i click the cart i select the m4 i purchase um but you'll see in a different match i clicked the wrong loadout on a different one and i dropped the gun that i didn't want to drop so you just have to be mindful of 
um, your loadouts. All right, so here we go. This is probably one of my favorite where you have this open layout, um, where you have the trees, the rocks. Uh, this is where the riot shield. Again, there's... There, what I like about it is it's, again, something different. Kind of like the boss fight with the Pharaoh. I like that they're adding different flavors in the mix, different strategies where it's not just run and gun and that's it. So now in an open field like this, you can kind of select your loadouts based on the maps that you're going to be matched in. So something open like this, you're going to want your riot shield. Of course, I didn't do that. This is all, you know, uh, afterthought. The enemy team, though, did. You can see he's got his riot shield. Um, hoping he was going to poke out right there. Look, we got crates dropping in front of us. So, all right. So what I did, I wanted to push this dude. All right, we lit him up. I think my partner went ahead and got the knock. We're going to see this guy pop up on the rock. Went ahead and got that knock. This is what I wanted to push. And I didn't realize you can, you can res, I believe, in four seconds in this map. This is how strong and broken the shotguns are. Do you guys see that? I had my finger ready to go on the trigger. Ready to pre-fire around this shield. He jumps out with a DBS. One shots my ass. Boom, right there. I was about to ollie-oop him right there. End up getting taken out. And but this is the best part. I think I'm gonna put this on Instagram. Look at look at this. Look at my boy right here. Look at my boy number four catching him with his pants down behind the riot shield. Look, he Tyson's. He goes ahead and drop. He Mike Tyson's in behind the shield. We get the victory and he still goes for the revive. Um, so that was the third. Yeah, that was the third round. You can see we had one elimination, 14 rounds, blah blah blah. And that they went ahead and tied it up two to two right there. So this is where you start to realize, like, wow, this is this is getting kind of intense. Uh, let me see, what was our coin total for that lot? Look at they're even in the beta, they're shooting crates, bro. Like, what is going on? That's how sweaty this gets. So we got 2100 there we got so with the loss you get 300 coins versus 450 if you get a dub so they went ahead and tied it up and now this is probably one of my favorites this is one of my favorites it's almost like um like a, a it almost looks mad max post-apocalyptic you got the burning cars peppered all over the bridge not only that i didn't realize it till you'll see when but we even have a dossier that's working right here we have one and the enemy has one so again, when you talk about strategy, look, he's got a car 98 and a Bison. This dude's got a Groza. I went ahead and again, as stupid as I am, I pick up the arm or I select an arm because I figure we're gonna be on a bridge. I'll use the arm. I have a pistol. It's just a P92. It's not even the P18C. And I got 1150 coins sitting in the cart where I could have picked up an M4 or you know, anything else. Uh, but I didn't realize it till after. And one of the things I like the most about this is they didn't just do the bridge. I like how they peppered the burning cars, kind of tipped on its side. You know, you have the dossier over here, you know, over on the uh, on the railing. The catwalks are in play. So again, so much strategy that can be involved that can be involved with this uh, ultimate arena. So here we go. Boom! That, I think that that might go to IG too. Make sure you guys check out all my links in the description. Follow me on my socials. I think that was going to go to IG, maybe even Twitter. So now I switch over. I thought I had the P18C. I was like, all right, we got this. And we didn't. I get, I get a couple shots off. He's about to drop shot me. He had the UMP anyway, right? So this is round. So that was round five. Now, this is the, this is the last one. And again, I have 4,250 coins. I was like, big brain. I'm going to go with the Groza. That was not that was not the move. That was not the move. I could have done like M4 car nine. I got the scopes. I didn't realize that this last match, because keep in mind, this is game seven right here. And look, my, my partner already got a, a knock with the with the arm as they're sitting on this other mound, you know, just outside of military. And so if we get a knock. So how many seconds is it? It is five seconds. So um, revives are cut in half in this game mode, which is really cool. So yeah, I got a DBS, or I got an um, M762 and a Groza. Like, what is happening? I was like, you know, we're going to YOLO game seven. We're just going to full send in the Dacia. And because I didn't have any, all I had was CQC weapons, right? And you'll notice I'm not getting out of the car. Why? Well, <clears throat> I can explain. I didn't know where my exit button was because it's beta. So I'm sitting there, I was 
Usually I have it right here. This is where my exit button is on global. I was tapping there and I was like, what is happening? It's not working. And I just realized it was by like my message button. Anyway, so that right there was game seven. You can see it was three to three. And they're going to go ahead and get the dub. So anyway, they absolutely nailed it with Ult Ultimate Arena. Cannot wait till this comes to global. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. But until the very next one, it has been Reeks.